Hello my friends, uh, in this video, we are going to display messages with Redux. So if we see the application, like if we type something like this, actually we can display the message we just typed like this. But in our applications we are making right now, but in our applications, that even though I type something like hello, actually nothing happened. But if we see our console panel, if we type something, hello, so um, we can see some low that appear in here. So now in this video, we are going to display this kind of message data inside our chat panel. That's what we need to do. But when we do that, we are going to use the Redux. Uh, originally, uh, in the normal chat application, uh, we need to put the message data into the database. After that, we fetch the messages that inside in the database and then we display that data in the browser. But for this chat application, we actually don't need to put messages in database because uh, after like refreshing the page, we want to start from the scratch. So that's why we don't need to put the data inside the database. So how to store the message and where. So if we don't uh, put the data inside the database. So there are two ways. Uh, one way is that we are putting the data inside the state. And then the other way is the inside the Redux container. So in our applications, we are going to use this second way of using Redux container. So first I'm going to save messages data inside the Redux container. So first we go to our text editor here and then uh, we go to file name, the chatbot here. Okay, we do console log here first. Uh, text I send. Okay, so if I type something again here, hello, and you can see text I send. So, so, so I type the hello this one. So the who is the user, which is me. With this information, I am going to have some icon, and then I will just put this text inside in here. So I will use this one. So in here, I am going to use a Redux to use that. Uh, I need to import the use this patch and use selector this comes from the react and redux we already downloaded these dependencies in here uh, package.json and react redux we already have it and we already did all the configuration for the redux if you see in here i already made it in here provide and then just the, all of the Redux middleware, Redux song, and Redux promises. So that's why we can just do like this right now. We need to make the dispatch. So use dispatch. So by using the dispatch, so we need to trigger the action. So dispatch in here. And then uh, the action name will be save message. And we need to put this conversation. This conversation is this information, this message, this message data. And then we need to make this save message action import from action and message actions. So I already made this action folder in here, action files in here. So I made a sample function in here, but I'm going to change it. So this uh, actions name is save message. So copy this one and by going to a message actions file and change this name into save messages. So in this parameter, so we put this 
conversation information. So in here, we need to change the type. Name will be save message. And we need to change this one. And we need to define these types inside the types.js here and save that message. And by using this save, we need to connect this action and then register together in here. And we also need to put this save message inside this case. And then we just change this one. Like original state, the, like the previous state is the empty array. So inside empty array, uh, we need to put uh, just uh, this information, like if I type it again, hello. So we need to put this text information and this information uh, inside in the message. So we need to do the state messages and concat and then action and payload action and payload uh, this one is just this data action and payload is this data so save it so now whenever we type something we trigger text query function and then in here we just put this conversation data uh, inside the redux store so i'm going to let you see what happened inside the redux store when I type something, so I'm going to refresh the page and then I will turn our Redux extension here. Now you can see the previous state is just empty array because that we just inside the register. This one is the, is the empty array. So that's why we have this empty array. I'm going to type something here. Hello. So if I type the extension again, so now we have this data. I just type hello and a user is the, uh, who is the user, which is me. And then this hello, I just type. If I type one more again, second, then I'm going to turn on it. So you can see we have two items inside the messages array so in here yeah like this so now not just the we put only the data i just sent so i will also put uh this conversation data i will get from the dialogue flow like this so and if i get some error from the dialogue flows i also put this conversation data inside the result store not just this one so when we just uh, uh, trigger the event query we also need to put this conversation data inside the redux store uh, even for the error for the event query so i'm going to let you see what will happen right now so refresh the page uh, even though we didn't type anything, uh, one data already inside is the messages because uh, whenever we start our page, we have this uh, uh, event that happened, uh, creating how can I assist. So after that, I'm just uh, type hello like this. And then now we have uh, more data right now. We have a three data because this one uh, comes from the our event for creating. And then the next one is uh, the message I just sent, like hello. And then the uh, last one is the, the response from the dialog flow. So this who is the bot. And then the text is, hi, how are you doing? So, 
So we put all of the data uh, inside the Redux store. So uh, in our next videos, I'm going to just uh, populate all of the data that store inside the Redux uh, in the chat panel. So thank you for watching this video and see you in our next section. Thank you.